Well, what is going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Today I'm out here on beautiful Lake Michigan, kind of where my summer house is I've had my whole life. Uh, you know, I've come up here in the summertime for my entire life and I've never actually gone fishing in Lake Michigan itself. Uh, we're not in an area that has good smallmouth or largemouth bass, we are in an area that has very good perch fishing and salmon. So I doubt that we're going to hook in any salmon today, but we got Pearl, my bass boat, out on Lake Michigan for my first time ever. It's going to be a surreal and pretty cool experience and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get to fishing. So while I was uh, setting up the GoPros and such, my dad already caught one. I don't know if you can see it or not. Little yellow perch down here in the live well. And we got the minnows on this side. So it is a wavy day out here on Lake Michigan, but we're catching perch. Now how many times have you perch fished in your life? Uh, this will be the first time. First time. <laughs> Same here. Rookies. We are rookies, but we are excited. It is, it is a beautiful lake. If you guys haven't been to the southwest side of Lake Michigan, it is so beautiful out here. I really recommend it, but I gotta get to fishing. He stole your minnow. All right, go grab, go back there and grab you a minnow. Now you may ask the question, Tyler, do you guys know what you're doing? No, no, we don't. <laughs> That's the fun part. So we're out here on a giant lake. What is the world's, it's the world's like fourth or fifth biggest lake. Tons of boats out here, it's a Sunday afternoon. So as you can imagine, everybody and their dog is here, but my dad caught one already. Literally first drop down there. And I'll probably show you guys the screen here. That's the screen we're looking at. So there's quite a few fish down there right now. Quite a few fish. Our goal is to catch enough for a little catch and cook on the bank. Show you guys what it's like to catch some perch, eat them up. Oh, wow, my minnow's gone. Look at that. Yeah, we're gonna go through two dozen minnows way too quick. So my dad's running a little crappie rig. I've got just a ball jig head that I used in Canada for walleye. And I'm rigging them through the mouth. Jigging it off the bottom. Oh, I think I just lost my minnow. Yep, I felt, okay, the fish are biting. I felt the bite there. Update, folks. It is actually a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. You, you, you don't have no you know, sense of direction out here, so you kind of drift off your spot. And the fish down there, they're, they're showing themselves, but they're not biting. The first, first drop had an easy fish, but the rest have not been so easy. Hopefully update you with good news. Got him? Oh, my dad's got one. Bring him in. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh save, save the minnow. The minnow. Save, save the minnow. Oh, save the minnows. We found a school. Do I have one too? Nah, this rod is way too, way too whippy. This is meant for a drop yeah. shot. The score is my dad with two. Myself with one. Oh, my gracious. Whoa. -ho -ho. This is Lake Michigan for you. I don't know where that came from, to be honest. I feel like I've got to have one. Ah, I don't. This is frustrating. Whoever invented these crappy rigs did a crappy job. Number three, <laughs> and I'm at number zero. I don't know, what are you doing differently? Let's get to the bottom and lift it up a little bit off the bottom. Okay. My dad is saying get to the bottom and lift it up a little bit. See, he grew up here in the north. I did not. I grew up in Texas. Now, neither of us have ever done this. I'm just trying to make an excuse for how bad my, my performance is. For those of you watching, I'm, I'm really struggling to figure out if I have a bite or not. And that's because with bass and catfish, carp, all those species, you practically know when you have a bite. Even crappie. This one is like even harder than crappie to tell if you have a bite. Oh, never mind. There's a bite. Did I get him? Oh, I missed him. Okay, well, well, there he was. As I had just complained, I did feel that. Oh, that was a that was a bite. That was the first that was the first bite that I felt, and I guarantee you, yeah, yeah, both of my minnows are gone. Somehow that fish ate both at the same exact time. That was a bite. It's probably a tarpon. Probably a tarpon or probably a marlin. I'm gonna go with a marlin on this one. There's a fish. There's a fish. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Yes. Yes. yes! Got him. You, my friend, are going in the pan. You're going in the pan with your other friends. In the foil. Got him, we found a school, folks. Drop the poles. It's only 35 feet. <laughs> Perch. Perch. What a wonderful thing. All right, I've got one more minnow. I'll just use him till he's, till he's gone. Finally, finally a bite. Sign of life. 
So one of the problems we are running into right now is that we would mark the fish with the marker buoy and on the electronics, catch two, and then all of a sudden the school like completely moves. So these fish are very migratory, kind of like birds. They, they move around based on where the, the forage and the bait fish are. And obviously they didn't stay there for very long. So we are on the trolling motor on high right now, trying not to get thrown out of the boat by this washing machine. That is Lake Michigan. All right, that is going to be it for right now. We're going to have to call it a four fish, but you know it's going to be a nice snack. A nice snack. So as you guys saw, it was definitely a hard catching part. It was our first time out here. I have honestly no idea how to catch uh, Lake Michigan perch, but we caught four, which is good enough for a little short snack. We're going to head down to the beach that my family uh, keeps our little cabin at. So we'll see you guys at the cooking part. So we are here at the beach. It's been a few hours. We kind of goofed around with the family, but we have the few fish in here. We got a knife. We're going to go over here, away from the families and such to clean the fish, but let's get going. So because we didn't get a whole lot of fish today and really no big ones, we're just going to scale these and, and gut them. That way we can get the most fish out of the uh, fillet as possible. So what we're going to do is take the fish. This one already died. And we're going to descale the fish. So usually you bring a spoon for this type of thing, but what we're doing is just pressing hard against the fish, getting all the scales off. That way when we put them over the fire into tin foil, he's nice and uh, descaled. And to save time, we're just gonna skip to uh, when I'm all done. <laughs> so the next step in the process, once those fish are all scaled, is to cut off the heads and gut the fish. We're gonna leave that part out of the video just in case YouTube decides to demonetize me for uh, showing the insides of a fish. but And that right there is kind of what it looks like once you cut off the head and uh, gut the fish. It is just a nice piece of meat on both sides of the ribs. Uh, that way when you put it in the tin foil, it'll cook. I mean, you guys will see. Just look at this sunset, folks. Look, that is beautiful. Oh, gosh. But now that we have what my uh, Australian friends would call fillets, got some perch fillets, we're heading up to the fireplace. So my dad and I were both in Boy Scouts, although well, you weren't in Boy Scouts, were you? I wasn't. Okay, he was just a Boy Scout leader, I'm an Eagle Scout, and so we've learned quite a few things about building fires out in the woods. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing to build this fire. Not that you find this in the woods, but a great thing to start fires with is dryer lint. Dryer lint. <laughs> Boy Scout secret. It is. So you stick the dryer lint that lights fire really well underneath all of the small sticks, kindling, whatever you find. We're on the beach, so we have tons of small sticks. And this will be our cooking device. The moment of truth. Will it work? I think so. I think it's a yes. I would like to keep my eyebrows the way they are. There you go. Good stuff. All, 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 all in one sheet? About, no, about that long. I'm gonna put them all in one sheet yeah. though. Okay. And fold it up. So we're gonna get one big long sheet, about like that. Tin foil's really hard to rip. I would do two pieces, so it's extra thick. Cause that's a thin. Extra thick? Yes. With two C's? Oh, you, oh, you pulled down, okay. That makes more sense. Lay the fish on it. You just fart. <laughs> this is an ancient method passed down from my, from my forefathers. <laughs> Before the creation of the world, <laughs> this fishing method was invented. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take some salt, put it on. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna do is put a little bit of lemon juice in there. Oh, it doesn't have a, doesn't have a spout, it's just kind of a... Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, we live in America, we like diabetes. Butter, butter's the way to go. Just gonna put some pieces in there, slather that butter on. Boom. All right. Delicious. And roll it up. Rolly, rolly, rolly with a dab of butter. Oh boy. Boom. Just like that, nice and flat, a little fish pouch. Oh yeah. Tin foil fish pouch. All right. I didn't think it was possible, but the sunset got better. <laughs> Beautiful, folks. Look at that. Oh. I had to run back and get my phone from the time lapse on my boat, but the fish have gone on the fire. It is smoking. Beautiful. So we forgot to bring tongs. There you go. Flip it over with the knives. 
The time has come to take it off. We are losing daylight. We better finish this video. Oh, baby. Here it's smoking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you going with it? I think Tuesday they're driving um, to Chicago. Oh, a doggy. Marty, do you want some fish from the fish fry? Oh, oh yes, he does. And will they be done? I smell fish. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Here. Yes, yeah. way down by New Buffalo. Oh, it's done. Oh, yeah. Falling Ooh. off the bone. Delicious. My mom's excited. Are you excited? She loves fish. Well, everybody, it looks like the fish is done. This is fresh caught Lake Michigan perch again. If you guys haven't visited Michigan, uh, especially the southwest side, make sure you guys do. But absolutely beautiful. Mm. Mm. That's a boom. <laughs> you know, this is definitely a very primitive form of eating. You could fillet it, you get a whole lot less bones. But but it's still definitely cool to uh, to eat the fish that you caught a few hours ago. Uh, I love the experience of doing a catch and cook. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys want to see more catch and cooks, more tournament videos, more instructionals, all that kind of stuff. Here on this channel, Tyler's Real Fishing, I love teaching you guys how to fish and taking you guys on my adventures with me. I say we dig in and eat. We'll see y'all next time.